100% natural and that's the way to go. Moringa hair butter. Hey lovelies, welcome back to another video. I'm making another hair butter for you today. This one is called Moringa hair butter. It is good for all hair types and the benefits are endless. So let's jump right into it. The first thing I'm going to add is 50 grams of cocoa butter and unrefined cocoa butter moisturizes hair, it reduces breakage and it also promotes a healthy scalp. You can substitute this with mango butter or you can just use strictly shea butter. Now I'm going in with the shea butter and it's unrefined shea butter 150 grams and this conditions and strengthens hair. It alleviates dryness and it also promotes hair growth. Now I'm adding it to a measuring cup because when I melt this down I want to get one cup of oil. Okay, so ensure that if when you melt this down, it's not at one cup, you can add some more shea butter or some more cocoa butter. And remember, this is unrefined shea butter, unrefined cocoa butter. And you can also add some mango butter if you have those as well. So I'm using the double boiler method here. All I did was I poured some hot water in the silver container and now I've added the measuring cup inside because to get everything nice and you know melted down because you do not want to add these butters to direct heat because it will lose some of its properties. This will take anywhere from about 10 to 15 minutes because my measuring cup is very thick. So after a few minutes, this starts to melt down. You just need to stir, stir, stir. So once again, for the persons who were asking in my last video, if you do not have shea butter, you can always use strictly cocoa butter or mango butter, but ensure that this is unrefined mango or cocoa butter and make sure it is good quality. I will link these in the description box for you. So once this is all finished, I'm going to transfer this to another container so I can use this same measuring cup. So this is all ready. Here I'm transferring it to a bowl because I'm going to be using this same container to add the oils that I'll need. The liquid oils. Or in other words, the oils that I don't need to melt down. So you can add oils according to the condition of your scalp, but I'm going to tell you the oils that I use and the benefits. Now here I'm adding coconut oil because coconut oil penetrates hair shafts. It reduces protein loss and it supports hair growth. The amount of oil that you need to have at the end is a half cup. Now this is grapeseed oil which is rich in antioxidants and it helps to maintain a healthy scalp and it also helps, for, helps with hair growth. I'm not really saying how much I'm adding here because according to the benefits I'm telling you now, you can decide how much of what oil you want to add. So this is a jojoba oil and it balances scalp oil production, it promotes healthy environment for your hair so that your hair will be able to grow and of course some Jamaican black castor oil this stimulates hair follicles improves circulation and it aids in thicker and longer hair I do believe that because I have been using castor oil since I was a little girl and it helped me the next oil I'm gonna be adding is extra virgin olive oil this came right from my kitchen and this helps in hydrating and strengthening hair. It helps to reduce damage and also encourages hair growth, which is all this hair butter is about, right? So remember, all the liquid oils should be a half cup and I'm adding that half cup to the one cup of melted shea and cocoa butter. Now the next ingredient is the star of the show. 
this is what moringa leaves look like and once it gets dried it can be crushed and turned into moringa powder i got the smaller bag of moringa powder i'm just going to be using two tablespoons of the moringa powder here and this is packed with several benefits it's rich in nutrients and vitamins and minerals which are vital for your hair it is packed with protein it supports keratin production for strong hair it protects hair follicles from damage and it helps you to maintain healthy scalp it has vitamin e which enhances scalp circulation it is filled with omega-3 fatty acids it is anti-inflammatory and it helps to strengthen add shine to your hair reduces breakage and it is a dht blocker which is the hormone which is it helps to block that hormone which is linked to hair loss several benefits you can do more research on moringa leaves and the endless benefits that it has for your hair this is really perfect to get all over your hair in those edges and just for you to have a really healthy hair so once i add two tablespoons of the moringa powder in this i'm just going to mix 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 until it is nice and dissolved once it is all it is all dissolved i will rest this in the fridge for a couple hours or at least one hour or 30 minutes until it kind of comes together for me to blend it up nicely for me to whip it up nicely for it to become a nice hair butter so about an hour later this is what it looks like now i'm just going to go in with my hand mixer and i'm gonna mix 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 this is a bit hard so you can leave it for less time but i still managed to work my way through this so here I'm just going to mix, 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 mix with my hand mixer. You can use a whisk for this if you do not have a hand mixer. It will only take you more time and that will definitely give you a nice arm workout. So here you can see as I'm mixing it, it is getting, the color is changing from a dark green to a light green color. So once you see that, you know that your butter is coming together nicely. So you can whip this for a few minutes, then add the other ingredients. For me, I'm going to add some essential oils. You can add the essential oils based on the condition of your hair. So here I'm going in with five drops of tea tree oil because tea tree oil cleanses the scalp. It reduces dandruff and it promotes a healthy environment for hair growth. Five drops, definitely enough because next... I am going to go in with some hemp seed oil because hemp seed oil is rich in fatty acids and proteins and it strengthens hair. It helps to reduce breakage and it supports hair growth. Five drops of the hemp seed oil, also enough for this. The next essential oil I'm going in with is Ilang Ilang oil because this balances scalp oil production. It min helps in minimizing hair fall and it also enhances hair growth. Five drops also, more than enough. Next, lavender essential oil. I love lavender essential oil, not just because of the smell, but because of the properties. It helps in improving blood circulation. It promotes hair follicle stimulation. And of course, it helps in growing your hair. And my other favorite essential oil, peppermint oil, because it increases scalp circulation and it helps to it helps in improving your hair so that it will get thicker and longer i don't just love the tingly feeling but i love the benefits so once i add five drops of all the essential oils you can add more drops of the essential oils in your mixture it all depends on you and based on the benefits that i've told you about which of these oils you want to add more of based on the condition of your hair too so you whip that up once more with the essential oils in and then once you see this nice light green color and it's thick like this 
it is your butter is nice and ready and yes you can use this on your skin my hand was really dry because i was washing it to make this and look at this it just melts right in my skin it is perfect guys moringa hair butter now here i i just washed my hair i just made a protein hair mask then i'm just going to go in with the moringa hair butter my hair is a little bit damped by the way so i'm just going to rub this all over my hair and i'm also going to get those edges because i just removed my braids that is why i had the protein mask you will see that video next and here i'm using the bag that i used to pour the to get the mixture in the containers because you know not now we are not now dash way we cannot waste this so i'm getting it all in my edges all over my hair and right now my hair is very short but it is very healthy and that is what i love the most the length will definitely come after once i stay consistent and you know i do protective style i quit doing hairstyles that will remove my edges but my hair feels super soft right now very much moisturized love 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 it and for those who were asking in the other video where i made the rosemary and cloves hair butter no you do not wash this out you leave you do your protective styling right immediately after this and you leave this in your hair until your next wash day you can add it in other days of the week i add mine in every other day or every time i remember and this works wonders for my hair my hair stays super super moisturized all week long love 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 it really love it and never mind guys i'm gonna be adding all the products in the description box also the exact measurements that i used so you can go ahead and make your moringa hair butter too that's it lovelies get ready to make your own moringa hair butter thank you so much for watching of course if you like the video don't forget to give the video a thumbs up share the video subscribe to the channel turn your post notifications on until next video.